differentiation of e the x by first principles. Now, in the previous video, we learned that Bernoulli had given the, this particular result that e was the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 n to the power n. Now, to be able to do this differentiation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little adjustment here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say, let n equal 1 over h. Now, this is OK, because as n goes towards infinity, obviously, then, it looks like a, that's an h there. As n goes towards infinity, then, of course, h will have to be equal to 0. So h, or as h goes towards 0, n will go to infinity. So now we've got to go through and we're going to replace the n's with the 1 on h. So it goes in here and in here. Now, this is 1 over 1 over h, which obviously is just h. So this is this limit becomes limit as h goes towards 0 of 1 plus h to the 1 on h. Now then I'm going to raise uh, uh, to both sides e to the power h. And on doing that, Right, this becomes e to the h, and of course that, when you raise that, becomes a 1 on h times h. It's just simply going to be 1, so it's really a 1 there. All right? So we're going to use that in the next little section. Okay, now let's let function x equal e to the x. And for the definition of the limit, the derivative will be equal to the limit as h goes towards 0 of e to the x plus h minus e to the x over h. It's just a standard substitution into the limit formula. Now what we'll do then, we'll take out e to the x as a con factor. There it goes, coming, coming out there. And because as h goes towards 0, that'll have no effect on this. So we can take that out the front. And that's e to the x times the limit as e to the h minus 1 on h. Now, uh, we know that uh, we can replace e to the h here right, with 1 plus h, because that's the same thing, isn't it? e to the h equals the limit as h goes to 0, 1 plus h. So we simply replace that e at the h with 1 plus h. But of course, these 1s will cancel out, and you're going to get over here that that will be the limit, uh, lim here, as h goes towards 0. And that's just simply going to be h on h, which of course is 1. So this would mean that all this is just going to be 1, because that's 1 is, is independent of h. So therefore, the result becomes e to the x. Quite a nice uh, little uh, proof of the, that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x.